Hello everyone. This is Prashant. Uh, in this video, we will take one simple example, uh, another example on uh, time domain specifications. Okay. The question is uh, on servo mechanism. Okay. So, measurement conducted on servo mechanism shows that the system responds to be uh, C of t equals to 1 plus uh, point 0 0.2 uh, into e raise to minus 60 into t minus 1.2 into e raise to minus 10 into t. Okay. The output of the system is given. Okay. So, when subjected to a st unit step input. Okay. The question is to find the closed loop transfer function uh, C of s divided by R of s that you are supposed to find. And the second question is de uh, determine the undamped natural frequency that is omega n is uh, not given it is it has to be calculated and the value of damping ratio okay zeta is uh, we need to find the value of zeta also okay uh, what is the uh, given uh, data is in the question uh, c of t response of the system is given c of t equals to 1 plus 0.2 into exponential raised to minus 60 into t minus 1.2 into e raised to minus 10 into t okay so, this is the response of the system, it is given. So, what you have to find the value of C of S first. To find the value of C of S by R of S, R of S is given, uh, unit step input is given, unit step input is R of T, uh, R of T equals to U of T, uh, when you take the Laplace transform, R of S equals to 1 by S. So, it will be there when T is greater than 0. Okay, And C of T is given, it is 1 plus 0.2 e raised to minus 60 into t minus 1.2 e raised to minus 10 into t. Okay, It is given. So, okay. to find the value of uh, C of s, we need to take the Laplace transform. Okay, Apply Laplace transform to this equation. Okay, So, what we will get? Taking Laplace transform. So, Laplace transform of C of t is C of s and Laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s plus 0.2 is constant. Laplace transform of e raise to minus 60 into t. So, it will be uh, 1 divided by uh, s plus 60. Okay? E raise to, we know that expo, uh, Laplace transform of e raise to e t is 1 divided by s plus a. Okay? Laplace transform of e raise to a t is 1 divided by 1 plus a. Uh, similar, uh, similarly, you can apply here. So, minus 1.2 uh, divided by s plus 10. Okay? Laplace transform of e raise to minus 10 into t is 1 divided by s plus 10. Okay? L let us simplify this equation. Uh, take the LCM here. s into s plus 60 into s plus 10. Okay? This is the common terms. Uh, so, multiply here s plus 60 into s plus 10. It's s plus 10 into s plus 60. Solve this equation. Okay, so plus 0 0.2, 0 0.2 into s into s plus 10 minus 1.2 s into s plus 60. Okay, so this much we got. Okay, once you simplify this equation, uh, it will be reduces to 600 divided by uh, s into s square plus 70 s plus 600. Okay. So, this, this much we got. This is the value of uh, C of S. So, what we need to find here? We need to find the value of C of S by R of S, this term. Okay? So, let us divide C of S by R of S. So, since R of S is 1 by S. Okay? So, C of S divided by R of S equals to, it's 600 into S into S square plus 70 S, 70 S plus 600 uh, into 1 by S. Okay, divided by 1 by s it is uh, into s whole divided by 1 by s okay this and this s will get cancelled and the remaining term is 600 divided by a square plus 70 s plus 70 s plus 600 okay so this much we got this is the value of c of s divided by r of s that is 600 divided by a square plus 70 s plus 600 okay we got the first we got the solution for first question uh, that is expression for the closed loop transfer function okay the next next question is to find the value of undamped natural frequency and the damping ratio of the uh, system okay to find the value of omega n let us compare this transfer function with the standard transfer function 
a standard transfer function we know that is omega n square divided by so s square plus 2 zeta omega n into s plus omega n square okay so this is a standard transfer function let us compare these two equations this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 let us call it as equation number 1 this is equation number 2 okay first we will compare their numerator terms uh, omega in place of omega n square we have 600 so omega n square equals to 600 and omega n will be square root of 600 omega n is square root of 600 uh, once you calculate this term it will be 29.4 radians per second okay we got the value of omega n okay let us compare their denominator terms so what we have in the denominator uh, 70 s s square is common 600 is common let's compare the second term 70 s equals to uh, 70 s equals to 2 zeta omega n into s okay so it will be uh, i will write here uh, it will be uh, 70 equals to 2 zeta omega n okay so we know the value of omega n is 29.4 radians per second okay and the only unknown quantity is to find the value of zeta so zeta will be zeta is given by zeta equals to it is 70 divided by uh, 2 into omega n omega n is 29.4 radians per second so it will be uh, zeta will be 1.43 there is no unit for zeta it is a constant so this is greater than 1 right the value of zeta is greater than 1 so once you calculate the value of zeta it is 1.43 it is greater than 1 hence the system is O damper system whatever the response is given in the system it is a O damper system okay this is the complete solution for the uh, given question okay uh, thank you for watching my video